Hello, today I'm here to show you how to use your shampoo and conditioner bars at home. So for the shampoo bar, you're going to want to make sure that your hair is very wet in the shower, get it all rinsed out really nicely, and then um, take your shampoo bar. I like to rub in circular motions along the scalp, and then I kind of take my fingers and really rub the product through, make sure that I'm feeling that there's um, some lathering towards the scalp. It's not going to be super sudsy, um, but there is going to be a little bit of a lather and some slip in there. So make sure that you're um, getting enough on there where you can feel it. And then what I do is I take the next section over, kind of same thing, circular motions, rub it in, next section over. And they're about inch wide, maybe two inch wide sections. And just work it along my scalp. Get it all in there. And then I go on the other side, do the same thing, taking the sections down. And then I go into the back of my hair and take sections up the head. In circular motions and then I take my hands and just kind of rub through make sure I didn't miss any spots on my scalp really get that lathered in feeling good get a little head massage and then once I make sure I've gotten everything I rinse it out very thoroughly now I only wash my hair once a week so I usually have to shampoo twice because it's usually quite oily and quite dirty by the time I do need to wash my hair. Um, so you may find that if you don't wash your hair very often, you may also need to do it twice. If you're washing fairly regularly, then you'll probably only need to do that one time. But it, for me, I use a lot more shampoo because I do that whole process for a second time. So once it's completely rinsed out and scalp's feeling good, feeling cleansed, then it's the conditioner. So for the conditioner, I like to take that, wet the top of it, and you want to make sure when you're using these ones that you're kind of doing it on the flat side. Um, and so I like to take the top of it, make sure that it gets damp, uh, especially with the conditioner, just so I can really work it through the hair. And then I take the section, you want to make sure... Um, that you're only going from the mids down. You don't want to be rubbing into the scalp Otherwise, it's going to make your hair greasy. So taking from the mids down I put my hand behind it and I take the bar and Work my way down through the ends And I do that again You want to make sure that you're not gonna rough up the hair or go in circular motions with this one It's gonna be downward motions and Do the same with the other side Sometimes I like to throw it over one shoulder, work it all through there a couple times, throw it over the other shoulder, work it through. And then I just make sure that when I can run my hands through it, that's when I've got enough slip, that's when I've got enough conditioner on there. Um, I personally let my conditioner sit on for a few minutes uh, while I you know, soap or rinse off the rest of my body, then I rinse it out thoroughly. Um, but having it soak in for the few minutes just kind of helps give the hair a little extra moisture. If your hair is short, again, I would recommend putting your um, hand behind the sections that you want to do over on the sides. And then you'll probably need to take it along the back as well, like so. Just make sure that you're not getting it too close to the scalp. The last thing you want to note about these guys is you want to keep them in a dry and cool place. So I actually store mine outside of the shower. I recommend getting like a shelf or basket, you know, just outside of your shower to store these um, because when they're uh, wet, um, they're going to kind of melt a little bit more and you're going to go through it faster. So make sure that you're keeping it in a dry spot and it's not too hot. And then these are going to last you for quite a bit of time if you do it that way. So I hope that tutorial was helpful explaining how to use this product. There's a little bit of a learning curve with it at first, but I think that you'll find um, that you might like it even better than your traditional shampoos and conditioners. If you have any questions about the process, of course, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. Happy washing!